going to say action. Action. Knock, knock. Hi there, I'm Ellen. Am I going to be your nurse today? So, can you tell me your name and your birthday? Taylor Sharma, three seventeen ninety three. All right, and that matches up. So today we're going to do a skin care, you know, peripheral vascular assessment. Peripheral vascular means circulation. So, all right. So I'm going to start out first by looking at your hair. And you, well, we'll leave it up there now because it's hard to take it down. So. And I see that you have uh, kind of blonde highlights and dark brown mm -hmm. hair. Is that your normal hair color? The brown. The brown, <laughs> yes, yeah. So it looks shiny. It's kind of a coarser texture. It looks evenly distributed. Do you have any areas of hair thinning or hair loss? Nope. No? Okay, and have you noticed any sores or moles or lumps or bumps in your scalp or hair? Move on to skin. So I'll see that your overall skin tone is consistent with your ethnic background of Caucasian. That's what you told me earlier in your history. Is that right? Yeah, so I see you have some piercings, three on this ear and three on this ear. Yeah. I don't see any other piercings or tattoos. Do you have some anywhere else? Yeah, I have two tattoos. Okay, and your tattoos are where are they? Mm -hmm. okay. So we'll look at that later when we do the skin of your chest and abdomen. So, so your overall skin tone, as I said, is consistent with your ethnic background. I don't notice any generalized color change, like you don't look flushed or pale at all. And I don't see any areas of hypopigmentation. We'll look more closely at your arms and legs when we come to that. For hyperpigmentation, I see you have a scattered is there papules? Is there macules? Do you have any scattered papules on your face here? Is there a mildly erythematous? That means red. There's a brownish papule. There's a couple other scattered papules. Or a rash. Yeah. <laughs> you have some excoriations mm -hmm. here. Then move on to your arms, actually, and I think I'll have to see this up for it just be easier to see. Um, just put your arms up here. So, and again, the skin color of your arms looks pretty even and consistent with your overall skin tone. I don't see any areas of hypopigmentation, but you have some hyperpigmented areas. Or those scars. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's uh, that erythematous um, linear scar there. You have a couple scattered macules here. And those guys, there's some linear excoriations. Mm -hmm. There's some uh, atrophic tissue. There's a few other scattered macules. Have you noticed anything changing or different anywhere? Nope. On your skin? Okay. I notice when I feel here that you have some roughness on the posterior aspect of your arm. Okay. Otherwise your skin is smooth and warm. Okay. Throughout your skin is dry. You're a little moist at your fingertips. <laughs> You don't notice any areas of uh, swelling? Have you noticed anything that's swollen at all? Well, I don't notice any areas of thickness. Sometimes people have calluses. I don't see any of that. I'm going to check your skin trigger. That's a mark for how hydrated the person was. And your skin folds right back down, so that says you're well hydrated. I'm going to check your pulses here. Your arm. So this is the brachial pulse. Those are a regular rhythm, and they're symmetrical, the same thing side to side. There are two pulse that's in the skin. I'm also going to check your radial pulse or radial artery here. So 
Then that's two plus. Here then is regular plus normal strength and they're symmetrical. So let me see how your fingernails look here. They're rounded and smooth. The angle is 160 degrees. I'm going to check your circulation by capillary refill. That just means the color comes right back. And yours is less than three seconds. Again, smooth, rounded. Your angle is 160. And the capillary refill. You see you have fingernail polish on, right? Here. But you can just you can assess through that. Your capillary refill is less than three seconds. Okay. I'd like to look at your legs, so I'll have you lie again. Okay. <laughs> didn't, didn't think of that. I've worked all patients I've seen here on legs before, so I'm not going to be alarmed. So. so again, I look and I see that the color, again, looks totally consistent. The skin is dry. We have a little roughness here also. And here you have an atrophic scar. Same way here. You have a couple of scattered macules. Nothing changing or different on your skin that you've noticed, huh? Nope. You look really good here. That's good. I don't know if any hypopigmented areas this is, hyper ones. So the temperature is uniformly warm. And as I noticed, it's a uh, with a little roughness here, but otherwise smooth and dry. I don't notice any swelling anywhere. Have you had any kind of swelling? Nope. I'm going to check for edema now, though. 